Hey, it's Tim Miller from The Bulwark. Uh, Joe Biden is out with a banger ad uh, responding to Donald Trump's video announcement about his latest position on abortion today. And uh, man, these dueling videos are really uh, framing up this campaign in a powerful way. Let's let's just step back a bit. So Trump, ever since you know the campaign started, basically, ha- has not settled on what his ap- position is going to be on a national abortion ban. Um, and uh, today... Uh, this morning, he with great fanfare, he announced a video. It's a four-minute-long video, pr- rambling, you know, where he gives his p- position, uh, which sums up to basically he wants the, the rules to go back to the states, laws to go back to the states. Uh, let, we'll just play a little clip of it here. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and in fact, demanded, be ended. Roe v. Wade. They wanted it ended. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks or some will have more conservative than others, and that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. Okay, so it, it goes on much longer than that. Um, but, you know, the gist of this is Trump wants credit for overturning Roe, um, but but wants wiggle room on whether there's going to be a federal ban on abortion. Now, there are a lot of problems with that. The Republican Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, would support a federal ban on abortion. Trump didn't say whether he'd veto something like that. Trump's going to have to vote in Florida on an abortion ban. It's going to be up on the ballot this year. Yeah, I didn't say what his position is on that is. So there's still a lot of wiggle room with Trump. Uh, the Biden campaign, though, took an opportunity to respond to that with an ad today. and And this ad uh, to me, I think I think it's just really important when you think about who they're trying to reach with this ad, because there's a lot of times abortion ads from the left really focused on reaching activists, reaching the Democratic base, which is which is important. But this ad, I think, is really strong in reaching out to kind of gettable voters, former Republican swing voters, the type of voters that we talk about a lot here at the Bulwark, because a lot of us are these voters. Um, and uh, you know, this ad, it's just so moving. Um, it's just out in the last hour. Uh, it features a woman named Amanda in Texas. And, and I want to play the full ad. So let's watch it all here, and then I'll be back on the other side to talk about why it's so important. So this is one of our willow boxes. This is just filled with some of the things that we had started gathering for her while I was pregnant. Yep. Here's her little baby book. This is the outfit that she was gonna maybe wear home from the hospital. All of these. Um, This is the blanket that she was in. And these are her little footprints. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Look, this isn't to minimize anybody's story um, with with uh, with regards to abortion or care or care medical care for women, Um, but uh, the fact that they featured this ad in this ad a woman who wanted to have a baby, desperately wanted to have a baby. You can see it in her voice and in her the way she's uh, her emotions. Um, the story about the little feet, ah, it's just heartbreaking. So this, this woman desperately wants to have a baby. She can't, she has a miscarriage, but then because of the post row laws put in place by Republicans in Texas, she can't get the medical care she needs. So what's the result of that? Well, now uh, there's a, there's a risk that she can't have a baby ever. She can't ever have a baby naturally. And, um, Man, that is just so heartbreaking. In addition to the fact that her life was put at risk unnecessarily. Um, you know, I did an interview a while back with Amanda Shires, a musician, who talked about her ectopic pregnancy and the risk that was that would have been to her life um, 
having to have a medical procedure to deal with that ectopic pregnancy um, if, if it had happened after Roe was overturned uh, in Texas or in Oklahoma. Uh, and so, you know, these stories about the threats to the women's life are really heartbreaking. And, and it speaks to, I think, you know, how powerful Joe Biden's position is versus Trump's, where Trump isn't, isn't really giving a, a passionate position of one way or the other on this bill. He's just trying to say, well, we'll just leave it up to other people. But Joe Biden's out there saying we can't leave it up to other people because look at the impact that it has. Look at the impact it has on women like Amanda who now don't have access to medical care. And, and, and again, I just think the fact that he's featuring this woman that wants a baby, right? And, and, you know, I, the, if there is, had been an ad about, um, you know, access to abortion or access to care, um, there's still many powerful stories out there, uh, particularly um, about the denial of access that's happening in red states that, that, that they could have chosen. But this story is speaking to people that maybe don't fully agree, maybe aren't fully on board with the whole pro-choice agenda, right? Like there's, I always talk about the big middle in this country on abortion that gets ignored by both parties are people that are kind of like abortion sometimes, right? Like there should be, um, you know, women uh, should uh, have access to care. Um, There maybe should be reasonable limits put in place on certain types of abortions. Uh, There are people out there that that, that are personally pro-life, but but think that there should be legal access to abortion, right? Like all of these people that have mixed views, right? This ad is speaking to them, right? Because it's like, this is a woman that wants a baby, that cares about her child, that wants to have more children, and that she can't have the children because of Donald Trump, because of the laws that were put in place post-Roe in red states. And, I, and expanding the argument to reach out to those people takes this from an issue that is probably a winning issue for Joe Biden regardless, like, you know, narrowly. But if you expand it out to trying to bring in people that, that might not full, you know, consider themselves pro-choice fully, um, now you're making this like an 80% issue for Democrats, right? Um, now you're making this um, something that is going to hit it, that pull at the heartstrings of, you know, never Trumpers, of people that are like in the Liz Cheney boat, you know, that don't like Donald Trump and that might be pro-life, but they, they don't want women to have to, to be denied access to, me- to, to life-saving medical care because of some fucking, you know, red state jabronis who want to have control over women's bodies, Okay. Like expanding with a message that reaches out to those folks, doing so in a way that is as powerful as this, telling Amanda's story, not, not, you know, not softening the edges, but just giving people the real authentic story. I, I think the real authentic testimonial um, is what makes that ad so powerful. And I think puts Joe Biden on very strong turf in this argument against Donald Trump, who doesn't seem to care about anybody or anything except his own political advancement. And you see this also by the fact that Donald Trump's getting hit on both sides today, because Mike Pence is out. He puts out a tweet that says that pro-lifers should feel a slap in the face from Donald Trump's video, because he doesn't make a strong case for life, really. He makes a case that he wants a political CYA, because the election is so important. And so he wants to have it always on abortion. So I think this is clearly going to be one area where there's a big political advantage to Joe Biden. Um, A super powerful ad today, very well-timed. Kudos to their campaign. I think drawing a sharp contrast between a campaign that, that, that cares about the actual policy impacts and what it means to real people in Joe Biden's campaign and a campaign that only cares about the ego and the narcissism of one man that's trying to stay out of jail in Donald Trump's campaign. Um, discussed a little bit about this. Uh, the podcast today, we taped before the Joe Biden ad came out, so we discussed a little bit about abortion, but got into a whole range of other issues. Um, and so, you know, go check out the podcast with me and Bill Crystal. Make sure to subscribe to this feed, and uh, we'll be back soon. Peace. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts, uh, you get bonus newsletters, you get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.